for the latest re uh, reporter Antonella Tverazza joins us live by phone from Palermo in Italy. Welcome Antonella. Hello. Yes, now it looks like there have been conflicting reports here. Uh, what are you hearing, at least from the Italian authorities, about this uh, possible uh, shipwreck? Uh, well, yes, probably Europe, as you said, is facing a new migrant uh, tragedy. More than four, uh, 400 migrants are feared to have drawn in the Mediterranean while trying to cross by boat from Egypt to Italy. Um, well, actually, a few hours ago, the um, Italian uh, uh, foreign minister confirmed the reports of many migrant deaths in Egyptian water, but he also said that he was waiting for more details uh, from Egypt. Uh, the Italian Coast Guard, however, said he had no information as the uh, incident uh, probably happened in Egyptian water. So uh, we um, have to wait uh, from Egyptian confirmation to know more details uh, about this, uh, this tragedy. Now, is that a regular route anyway? Do you have migrants uh, crossing from Egypt to Italy regularly, or is this uh, uh, one of, uh, some of those rare uh, occasions? No. Um, well, every day, um, thousands of migrants try to cross the, the Mediterranean. Um, for sure, we know, for example, that yesterday six bodies were recovered in a rubber boat in Sicily Channel, and hundreds of migrants have been rescued and ferried uh, to Italy. What uh, we have to stress is that uh, although the um, UN Refugee Agency estimates that more than 3,000 migrants migrants died in the Mediterranean last year, the truth is that the exact death toll will never be clear. Nobody knows how many migrants are drawn every day. Um, as a few bodies uh, recovered, many deaths are never officially uh, confirmed. For the rest, we can say that, uh, as, as expected, uh, um, the number of migrants crossing the Mediterranean is going up sharply um, as a result of good weather condition and of the closing of the Balkan routes. Statistic for the first um, four months of this year show that more than 20,000 migrants have been rescued from smugglers' boats in distress uh, in the water between Libya and Sicily. And, and mm -hmm. this is 20% more than last year. Now, um, Antonelle, uh, have there been cases where there have been, there has been a tragedy at sea, but it takes several days before the truth is known, before all the details come, or, sure. uh, come to be known? Sure, because they just disappear in the, in the Mediterranean, and uh, it's not easy to find uh, the, the, the body of, of, of people uh, drawn in, in the water. Uh, obviously, and um, we have to uh, also add that this tragedy, if confirmed, come exactly a year after the worst migrant disaster in the Mediterranean for decades. We are talking about 800 migrants, uh, many of them locked into the old, died um, in, a, in, a, in a boat um, uh, capsized at, at the sea in the Libyan water. And yeah. it, it was just a, a year ago, in, on the 19th of April of 2015. But as I said before, nobody knows how many people join every day. Well, uh, Antonella, thank you very much. We hope uh, uh, the numbers will be extremely few. Antonella Sferazza reporting live by phone from Palermo in Italy.